Assalamu alaikum. Hi hi hi. So, we are still in the topic 3, determination of national income. Before we proceed further, let's recall a little bit about consumption and saving. Consumption function is C equals to A plus B Y D. Okay, do you still remember? C equals to A plus B Y D. And S equals to negative A plus 1 minus B Y D. Okay, still remember? And for uh, APC plus APS equals to 1, also same to MPS plus MPC equals to 1. Okay, now we find the equilibrium in two-sector economy. Equilibrium in a two-sector economy is a simple economy which consists of two agents only, namely household and firm. Equilibrium will occur when aggregate demand equals to aggregate supply or leakage equals to injection. Let's look at the flow of income. We have two agents, household and firm. Firm will give rewards to household in terms of rent, wages, profit and interest. Now, household has income, they will use for consumption in the product market and saving in the financial market, for example, bank. And financial market will invest back to the firm. So that's a circular flow of income in two sector economy. Without wasting time, let's calculate why. Okay, how to de determine the national income equilibrium for two sector economy. Equilibrium is achieved when aggregate demand equals to aggregate supply. So here AS equals to AD. AS is Y. AD for two sector only C plus I. Okay, for algebra analysis, given the following information. Autonomous consumption is 130, MPC is 0 0.7, autonomous investment is 500. Okay, what I what I told you before, C equals to A plus B Y D. A is autonomous consumption, means that C equals to 130. 130 is autonomous consumption plus B Y D B is MPC. So here MPC is 0 0.7 Y D. You have to remember in two sector economy we have no government. Means that no tax. What uh, if there is no tax, Y D equals to Y. So no need to find Y D first because Y D equals to Y. So now we solve the problem. Here, I told you before, consumption function, C equals to 130 plus 0 0.7 YD. And YD equals to Y. So, let's substitute into the equation Y equals to C plus I. Okay, Y equals to C plus I. And then, you substitute C, 130 plus 0 0.7 Y. And plus I, 500. This one, 500. So here, Y equals to 630 plus 0 0.7 Y. Okay. And this is aggregate demand curve. So this info is important for you to draw AD curve. Alright, and then we proceed to get the answer. Okay, all the unknowns, you move to the left-hand side. Y minus 0 0.7Y six, equals to 630. And then you minus Y means 1Y. 
1y minus 0.7, you will get 0.3y equals to 630. And then, simple uh, calculation, you will get y equals to 2100. This means the equilibrium. Now, we are trying to find the value of y. So, now you get y is 2100. Okay, sometimes the question will ask you to draw or sketch diagram. So let's look at a diagram how to how to determine the equilibrium by using diagram. Okay, in terms of graphic. Okay, here um, y is the blue line. This blue line is 45 degree. Okay. 45 degree. And then I is investment 500. The, the red line is consumption function. Okay. So C equals to 130. 130 means Y intercept. So you just label here y intercept here 130 and it's upward sloping why because the slope here slope 0 0.7 positive 0 0.7 means that upward sloping and then this one i just show i just want to show to all of you uh, how to derive a curve actually you already learned this um, during your spm Okay, now we want to find y equals to c plus i. Y already, uh, we already have it here in blue line. This is y, aggregate supply. And then the green line is c plus i. I told you before, this one, 630 plus 0.7y. You can use this lane, this line, to draw a, an aggregate demand curve. Okay, and then the intersection between these two lines, blue lines and green line, this is the equilibrium equals to 2100. Okay, easy peasy, right? Now, this uh, this is aggregate demand, aggregate supply approach. Now, I will explain on leakage injection approach. The answer, always 2100 for this question. Even though you use aggregate demand, aggregate supply approach or uh, leakage injection approach. So, let's move to aggregate uh, leakage injection approach. Equilibrium is achieved when leakage is equal to injection. Leakage equals to injection. Leakage is I equals to S. Very simple. And given the uh, question, the following information. Autonomous consumption equals to 130. MPC 0 0.7 and autonomous investment 500. So how to solve this? You have to derive consumption function first because uh, this question state the autonomous consumption and MPC means that is for consumption. So you have to um, derive consumption function first. C equals to 130 plus 0.7 YD. So when you get this equation, convert this to saving function. So, from this, this autonomous consumption value, it will change to autonomous saving. So, you have to put the negative value in front of the value, negative 130 plus 0 0.7, you convert to 0 0.3y, 1 minus 0 0.7. So, you will get 0 0.3yd. Remember, in two-sector economy, there is no tax. Then... From this one, you just substitute here S equals to I. S, just convert YD to Y because no tax. If not, you have to find 
Y first. Don't use YD directly because you will will be careless. Okay, so as negative 130 plus 0 0.3Y equals to 500. And then proceed, the answer is 2100. Same to the aggregate demand, aggregate supply approach. Okay, do you get it? Okay, how to derive the diagram? How to construct diagram? You have to sketch diagram. Say it's also similar to aggregate demand, aggregate supply approach. But here, we have only two diagram, which is saving curve and investment curve. Okay, saving curve. Saving is negative 130 plus 0 0.73. Sorry, 0 0.3y. Okay, so this one is y intercept. y intercept is negative 130. So, it must be below the origin. That's why you just uh, take here negative 130. And for 0 0.3, upward sloping. Okay, because positive value. Never do downward sloping. Uh, okay. Do it as upward sloping here. And then for investment, 500. It's a fixed value. So you just, um, uh, what? Teka je lah. Okay. Logically, it's bigger, bigger space here because 500. And then just draw a line to 500 and this one is the intersection between both like uh, both curve so the equilibrium occurs when saving function and investment function intersect at 2100 and the last part is tabular analysis okay so if you look at here Mm, aggregate demand equals to aggregate supply. This is equilibrium. Happen when the aggregate aggregate supply is two thousand one hundred. At two thousand one hundred, aggregate demand also two thousand one hundred. That's why this is equilibrium. And if you look at uh, injection leakage approach, saving is five hundred and investment is five hundred. How do you get this? You just substitute the value. Uh, into the uh, y into the c and s function so you will get this value okay so this one equilibrium even though you use aggregate demand aggregate supply approach or injection leakage approach the answer would be same okay so that's all for uh, to find equilibrium by using two sector economy. Later, I will proceed to three sector economy. It's quite tricky because it involves tax. And you you may answer the question here. Sorry, the question here. Okay, thank you.